tell anybody it's tough. Yeah. <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a special guest. This is my mom. She has raised six kids and is on her fifth grandchild now. Um, and so she has a lot of great knowledge on how to take care of babies and make it through the newborn phase. So in today's video, we're gonna show you how to bathe a newborn, how to get them dressed, and how to deal with some common ailments like cradle cap and dry skin. So let's jump into it and give this baby a bath. So first things first, gather your supplies and set up your bathing area before you grab your baby. That way you have two hands to work. Then set up a drying station by smoothing out a towel and putting your baby's towel on top of that. You can make this more luxurious by plugging in a heating pad underneath so that your baby stays warm while you lotion and dress them. So the first step in bathing your baby is to wash their hair and the way we do this is to wrap the baby up in a swaddle so they feel nice and secure and then hold them in the traditional football hold. This will give you easy access to the top of your baby's head and it's also a really relaxing position for them so if your baby is fussy or colicky it can help to calm them down. Um, the next thing that you're going to do is use some coconut oil um, to loosen up any dead skin or cradle cap that they might have on their scalp. If your baby doesn't have this issue, then you can skip that step. And then just foam up their hair with a little bit of soap and run their head under the faucet. And the sound and feel of this is just so relaxing. And it also gives you great control so you can keep from getting any water in their eyes or in their ears. Now that their hair is all clean, your baby is ready for the bath. So keep them lightly swaddled in the same blanket and then set them in the bathtub. Then run some of the warm water from the tub over the blanket and this will make a warm cocoon for the baby and keep them calm throughout the bath experience. Um, you can just slowly unwrap different parts of the swaddle as you go to wash those areas. Lastly, gently turn your baby over and balance them on your hand. Then use your free hand to wash their backside. Congratulations, you've now successfully bathed your newborn. Now it's time to transfer them on to that pre-warmed towel where you can either give them a baby massage or just bundle them up and check out how cute they look. Now we move on to the task of dressing the baby. So after you get your diaper on, you can move on to that tricky onesie. The first step is to scrunch up the onesie and open it up at the neck hole. Then simply set this opened up part underneath your baby's head. Next, simply lift the front part of the onesie over your baby's face and pull it down around their neck. Lastly, scrunch up the armholes and one at a time have your baby grab your finger and pull the onesie down around their arm. It's best to move the clothes around your baby as opposed to trying to move your baby through the clothes. Then snap up those buttons and the upper portion is complete. Pants and socks go on the same way. Make sure you're scrunching them up and moving them around your baby, not trying to move your baby through the clothing. Finally, you can wrap up this project with a nice cozy swaddle and you and your baby are ready for a nap. Phew! I hope you enjoyed this quick video on how to give your new baby a bath and how to get them dressed. Being a new mom is tough and sometimes it helps to have a little guide to get you through the simple things in the day. If you have any other tips for helping moms get through bath time or getting their babies dressed, be sure to leave those in the comments below and we will see you in the next one. Over and out! And show us, Hungry, baby. can you do the bonus, the hold? Oh, because he's already fussy, so he might work. If he's fussy, and you turn him over like this. You have to hold his hands in and make him feel secure. And they'll almost always settle down for a few minutes if they're not too hungry. The magic hold. <laughs>